In this chapter, I'm going to look at a few different things, and not specifically module-based. That said, we have already looked at the equaliser earlier on, but I'm sure you can't have failed to have noticed that one of our other modules that we can use is this one, the post-equaliser. Well, I'm fairly certain you'll find some use for this because, as you know, when you are mastering a track, it's likely that you will want some equalization. But following this, you might include a plugin, or indeed, you might even use one of the other Ozone modules. And as a result of this, you might need some post equalization just to tidy it up a little bit. Well, essentially, that's why we have this post equalizer option. You'll notice within the Ozone Modules panel that as soon as you've chosen one of the modules, in this case the Equalizer, well you can't reuse it in your chain because it becomes greyed out and that's because it's in use. So because of those occasions when it's likely that you will want some extra EQ adjustment, that's why we've got this post equalizer here. Effectively, we have two equalizers. And you'll see if we flick between the two different options, Equalizer and Post Equalizer, they are essentially the same. OK, now I'm just going to remove both because I want to pick up on something I mentioned earlier on, and that's the use of plugins. Remember, we have this second tab, the Plugins tab. Consequently, once it's open, you'll see a list, well, a categorized list of the plugins that your system holds. If you want to add to this, click on here and then move across to the right to where it says Scan Plugins. If you are working on Mac, you'll have an extra option here. I'm on PC, so I only see VST. If you were to click on here, then you would scan or rescan what you've previously scanned. And here, where it says Add VST Folder, if you have other plugins that you want to incorporate, well, I reckon you can work it out. If you click on Add VST Folder, you can navigate to the particular place on your system where you might have additional VST plugins that don't reside in the default locations. I'll just quickly do this. I'll click on Scan Plugins once more. And now you'll see, well, if I just close that down, now you'll see a list of all the folders of the particular plugins on my system that so far during this scan, Ozone 6 has found. Now I've just canceled the scan just to save you some time, but essentially the process is this. Once you have found the particular plugin that you want to use, double click it. And of course, as a result, this will throw open the user interface for that particular plugin, which means here within Ozone, you can make any changes to this particular plugin. And of course, it all works in real time. I'll just start playback. There's something about the way she walks. Something about okay, simple enough. Now, if you also want to add in another plugin, of course you can do. Or, if you prefer, you can click on here to add one of the Ozone modules. Possibly you want to use some dynamic EQ. We've not looked at this module yet, so I'll leave that for the moment. But as an example of how to use the post equalizer, let's include this. And in fact, for the moment, I will remove the dynamic EQ. Okay, so simple enough then. Bring in a plugin, should you want one, and then use the post equalizer, should you need it. In this case, I could have used the normal equalizer because I haven't already used that particular module. All the same, the post equalizer and the equalizer operate in pretty much the same way. Incidentally, there is a really useful function that you can use when you are using your modules, in this case, the equalizer. If you want to focus in on a particular area, then by holding your Alt key down and then clicking on your nominal EQ line, you can see that we can focus in just on that small area. And effectively, it's like having a sonic window opening up just for that particular range. I'll show you this in action. I'll start playback again of this track. And by using the Alt key, I'll try and focus in on the frequency area around the snare. I think it's a little bit overpowering. And consequently, hopefully, I can attenuate slightly so that its power at those frequencies isn't quite as strong. Anyway, I'll start playback. So here we go. Remember, it's the Alt key that you want to use.
Okay then, so as you could see and hear, using this Ozone 6 Sonic window does allow us to focus in on particular areas and isolate just that frequency range. Okay, so that's how we incorporate plugins. We use the post EQ, should we need it, and how we narrow down a particular area that sonically interests us for whatever reason.